Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through channel allocation and its types guys. Okay, so how we used to divide the channels based on the frequency, based on the time division. So in the same way, here also channel allocation is done. So basically for satellites, the channel allocation can be done in two ways you can say. So one is the fixed allocation and the second is the dynamic allocation. So channel allocation may be of FCA that is nothing but fixed channel allocation or dynamic channel allocation. Okay, so now let us go through FCA. So it has been traditionally employed on satellite communication links. So FCA is relatively simple to implement a set of channels example based on frequency time slot or code is permanently allocated. Okay, so first let us go through the definitions then I'll be explaining you with a real time example guys. Okay, similarly CDA. So it allows each channel to re be reused as it is a dynamic approach. We need to request is a sent and granted and used and released okay so in some situation dc a sounds better that is nothing but dynamic approach sounds better okay so here fixed and dynamic so basically are there any satellites which use these in real time yes so basically we are having our tv channels right the tv dish antennas and all those things so basically these will have fixed channel allocations guys so basically whatever satellite part which is always communicating with these satellites they are fixed right so basically that satellite will only communicate with this at some particular frequency so that comes under the fixed channel allocation so there is some fixed channel allocated between these two in that way okay similarly whereas a dynamic channel allocation so assume that you want to communicate with your friend so in that situation if satellite is used satellite communication is being used in that situation you will be given only some time right so your friend and you will not be connected for infinite time you can talk for infinite time there is nothing concept like that right yes so you will be connected for a limited time you will be communicating once your communication is done someone else can connect so in that way, even parallelly some thousands of calls will run parallelly so in that way the dynamic approach based on some particular time or your request so basically you will be requesting it so that re your request will be sent and if there is a chance of occurrence of a call so basically the server or the state or the satellite is not busy so if it is busy it will be saying that the lines are currently busy please try again after some time so this will be listening whenever we are calling to our friends sometimes so that is because of the, all the lines are busy really yes so once you get the permission you will be using the, your required channel and you will be releasing it once you cut the call it will be again released and someone else can use it in that way the dynamic approach will work Okay, in some situations the CDA sounds better. Sorry, DCA sounds better. Okay, so now let us continue with two more terminologies you can say that is nothing but FAMA and DAMA. FAMA is nothing but fixed assignment multiple access, DAMA is nothing but demand assignment multiple access. So, if you observe these, thing, these things, also sound similar to this, right? FC and D. D. Yes, you are exactly correct, they are also similar, but just in terms of some other definitions, that's it. Okay, so fixed assignment multiple access FAMA is a one of the two main techniques of allocation channel to users. So basically here you will be allocating a particular channel permanently to the user. That's it. Okay, so now you will be asking me that are there any advantages and disadvantages? Yes. So FAMA is a simple to implement and the channels are 100% free. Okay. Yes, so the major disadvantage is not available for general use. So basically these FAMA you cannot apply for some other satellite guys. So basically FAMA is widely used for our TV satellites. Like our dish connections and all those things. Okay, whereas FAMA is a dynamic or demand assignment multiple access is a technology used to assign a bandwidth to a client that does not need to use constantly so basically like our phone calls so basically you don't want to communicate with your friend 24 by 7 right so you'll be talking every day once or every day twice or every week once or every month twice like that right yes so in that way if ama will work so fdma system assigns communication channels or circuits based on the request so basically based on your request it will be giving permission and once your usage is done you'll be freeing the channel again got it yes Okay, so when a channel is not being used, it is returned to and it can be used by someone else. Okay, so the advantages of DAMA is a stability guaranteed. Okay, and utilization can be maximum. So basically, if you bought a satellite and you told that from that satellite only our information will go. 
so basically you are communicating with your company only once in a month so basically other than that one day rest of all 29 days or 28 days are wasted for that satellite right yes so that is the reason why dama is better than fm in terms of these kind of examples okay but when it comes to tv examples like the tv dish tv someone will be using every time right some tvs will be on 24 by 7 in uh, shopping malls or somewhere right yes so at in that situation fma is more useful yes so stability guaranteed in a dma utility can be maximized sorry ut utilization or utility can be maximized technique is a fair to all terminals so basically each and every terminal will get the same information the disadvantage is in, in a dma is it is a bit costly guys because everything is dynamic means you should have some algorithm or some mechanism which manages all these things right so it is a bit complex as it is costly okay so experiences a high delay for low loads so basically whenever there's a huge changes like you're calling to your friend but every five seconds after your talk you're cutting the phone and you're recalling him so in this situation you're having some delays right so there will be some delay your, your phone, friend's phone will ring then he'll be lifting it so in that way this is not fixed allocation so that is the reason why that will be a delay is one of the issue okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about a broadcasting systems and we'll be discussing about a dam and dvm so your question will be what are the full forms at least let us know the full forms so dam is nothing but digital audio broadcast so here you will be broadcasting only audio and dvb is nothing but digital video broadcast where you will be broadcasting audio plus video got it yes so in the next lecture we will be discussing about broadcasting systems and we will be starting with the DAB in the next lecture guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching